Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another tarot reading, Scorpios. Uh, happy birthday, Scorpios. I hope you guys are vibing in Scorpio ness. I hope you are uh, uh, celebrating your 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 abundance, your uh, your uh, individuality, your uniqueness. Just whoever you are, Scorpio, you are a beautiful being. Yes, you are, Scorpio. And I hope you are celebrating yourself, Scorpio. Now, Scorpio, this is going to be another general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single Scorpio out there. Uh, hey, it is what it is now. I'm going to have to talk to you for a second, Scorpio, because I, I'm a peaceful person. I try to keep the peace, you know, and I understand I get it. But I also understand it seems like the more subscribers I get, the more uh, younger Scorpios I get it and just like they told me when I was younger they told me to just keep living because a lot of things I wasn't gonna get until I got older through experience so but I'm making I'm gonna tell you this because uh, I love my Scorpios who have been around me for a very long time who are very mature minded uh, individuals who understands the energy of tarot reading now I don't need anyone trying to hold me accountable because an X energy shows up in these readings. I thought we was over this Scorpio. I don't, I mean, I can't control who shows up in these readings. I just can't believe that, you know, look, this is like the second comment that I got. And see, I wouldn't have even known it had not this young lady told me, but I guess spirit wanted me to know because that's, it's time to purge out the negative energy off of my channel because all Scorpios are not good Scorpios. Let's just keep it real. Some Scorpios still need to heal. Some Scorpios still need to mature. But this young lady made the comment of about my last videos. Now, it cut out on me, so I had to make a part two. So the, in the beginning, if you would just listen to the part two, you know, I mean, but it, I guess she did listen to the part two because she said in her comment section, she had to give me a thumbs down on the first video because that ex. And so I'm like, really? <laughs> you gonna blame me? I mean, as if as if I'm 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 like, you know, because most of the time I'm I'm shuffling the cars in front of you. There's no hocus pocus here. I don't give a crap who shows up in this reading because I like a like a whole lot of other you beautiful, uh, mature minded Scorpios know that your life does not revolve around tarot reading. You, some of you Scorpios act like if an ex come around, you can't do nothing about it. So that just shows me that you have a lack of control in your whole life. So needless to say, I'm going to block that energy. So if you, and see, I wouldn't have even known it had not this person uh, left a comment, but you know, but it is what it is. But I'm just telling you right now, you know, I don't mind you leaving comments. I love you guys. You have every right to express your emotions, but how can you hold me accountable for what comes out in this in this <laughs> in these cards? I'm not getting that unless your perception is off. So if if you feel like you're fighting something internally, please don't don't try to deflect it off on brown eyes. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to disrespect you. I respect you. I appreciate you. I'm just going to take that as a sign that we're not equally yoked and I'm just going to block you and keep on ministering uh uh and just kicking it with my beautiful, lovely Scorpios who get me. Now, having said that, Scorpio, let's make it do what it do now. I'm going to start this reading off with the self-care wisdom cards here because I feel like a lot of Scorpios, I feel like the whole world, it ain't just Scorpio, but we're always talking about love and romance. And that's what, that's my thing. That's what I talk about. And, and it's nothing wrong with talking about love. But sometimes you have to self-care in order for you to prepare yourself for the love that you desire. Sometimes your energy is so off. You know, everybody, if you want a, a microwave love, you can walk outside and get that. But if you want a real long-term committed relationship, something that's going to uh, last the test of times, then you're going to have to be patient and be prepared to put in their work. Spirit, show me some messages for Scorpio, please. Birthdays, Scorpios, in the his house. Show me what messages you have for my lovely, lovely Scorpios. So your part, first card, Scorpio says priorities here. Priorities. It says the quality of your life is determined by how you spend your time. Make sure your schedule reflects the life you want. 
So see, it's telling you, make sure you put your energy in the right place that's going to benefit you. Don't just idly use your time. Prioritize things that's going to benefit you, Scorpio, and make life just a little bit better for you and bring you closer to, to your heart's desire. Scorpio, I feel like it's almost winter time. It's so cold here. So you have change course here, Scorpio. Change course. And it says a closed door is an invitation from life to move in an even better direction. It's time to change course. Some of you Scorpios, especially the, the unlearned Scorpios, are upset because you're not having your way. And, and a lot of times you don't understand that your rejection spirit is trying to protect you. But if, you de if you're so determined to get your ex back and your ex has not made any changes, then you're going to complete com continue to repeat cycles here. So it's telling you a closed door is an invitation from life to move in an even better direction. I mean, look, if I see an ex show up, it don't mean nothing to me because I know I have control over my life and I know what I am praying for and I am manifesting here. It has nothing to do with the ex. Does I don't have any uh, malice towards anybody. I've forgiven. I hope I'm forgiven. There is peace. I wish everybody love and happiness for real. But it does not mean I want that ex back here. So... I just feel like a lot of Scorpios, a lot of younger Scorpios who really don't understand life because they still have to live and learn. Uh, you're going to be disappointed if you feel like everything is going to happen instantly. And, and like the saying says, anything worth having, you're going to have to work for it. And by you being a, such a spiritually uh, enlightened energy, you should use your intuition to know what's in your life. I'm just pulling cards. <laughs> I promise all I'm doing is pulling tarot cards. You can go buy cards yourself and pull your own energy. I'm not doing anything that anyone else can't do. But for you to come at me because of your lack of understanding, we're not going to do that. So now you have surprise, Scorpio. A lot of Scorpios going to get a lot of birthday surprises because I feel like you deserve it, Scorpio. But let's see what it says. It says, release your expectations and be open to surprise. This reminds me of that control thing, you know, uh, you know, uh, release your control, stop trying to control everything, uh, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Cause it's telling you, you, you'd be surprised what would happen if you get yourself out of it. If you get your, <laughs> if you get your, uh, your, your appearing sight off of the situation, it's telling you and be open to a surprise. It's going to, something is going to surprise you. Something that you least expected to happen and something that you really had your attention. Once you pull your energy back, you're going to be amazed at what spirit is going to bless you with as a, as a result of you pulling back. So you have, listen, look at that. Listen, that's beautiful. It says people start to heal the moment they feel heard. Wow, that's deep. People start to heal the moment they feel heard. I guess that I guess that's true because a lot of times people feel like whatever they're going through, they're going through it alone. And a lot of times when people be talking and venting, they don't really want a judgmental answer. They just want someone to just lend a unjudgmental ear just so they can vent and, and release some tension. And I feel like that does bring in healing here. Two more cards for Scorpio, please. What message do you have for Scorpio? Ooh, wait, Scorpio, you got happiness. Happiness, Scorpio. It says your thinking will either make your happiness or take your happiness. You choose. Damn. That was raw and straight to the point, wasn't it? It says happiness here. Happiness. It says your thinking will either make you happy will either make your happiness or take your happiness. You choose, all right? Scorpio spirit is putting the power in your hands. You've always had the power, though. You've always had the power. Like, like spirit is telling you, you're in control. A lot of Scorpios are crying, are crying out to, to spirit to help them, but spirit is trying to let you know, I am at your beck and call. I do what you say. I'm waiting on you to demand. If you, if you speak it, I got to give it to you. And Spirit is just waiting on to hear what you have to say about it. One more card for Scorpio. 
Ooh wee, Scorpio. Ooh wee hee. Abundance. Don't you like this? See, you always get this shit. I tell you. How can anybody get mad at me because of what's coming out? Especially when I guarantee you they like the money reading and all of the abundance coming. But when an ex come in and you're going to thumbs down a video uh, for one, I don't even care if you thumbs up or thumbs down. Now, you don't have that type of control over me. But it just shows how immature you are to feel like you do. But Scorpio, you do have abundance. So it says being a thoughtful steward for the money you already have is the secret to creating more abundance. When you trust yourself to handle more, that's when more shows up. Ain't that some shit, Scorpio? This is you. You got a bun. It's the spirit is trying to help you. Spirit is trying to give you what you need. It's like if if you don't know what to do, you're gonna keep on making the same mistakes. But this, if if you want money, this is what spirit is telling you. It says being a thoughtful steward for the money you already have is the secret to creating more of that abundance. So when you trust yourself to handle more, that's when more shows up. Abundance, Scorpio. Oh, wait, Scorpio. So that's that. That I'd say that's that, Scorpio. Oh, wait, Scorpio. That's beautiful. Let me put these right here so I can see the words. Priority, change course, and you have surprise. And at the bottom, you do have beauty here. Isn't that beautiful? These are beautiful cards. You got optimism, beauty. Beauty says today you are a curator of beauty, a curator of beauty. You are blessed with moments that let you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that all is well in the world. Beauty. See, it has to do with your perception here. You know, the world could be falling apart and you swear it's beautiful. And, and that's exactly what you will be getting, a beautiful world, in spite of what your neighbors may be experiencing, Scorpio. It's like, it's like spirit is, is making us uh, be more active in our lives, Scorpio. I'm going to pull a couple more of these gypsy cards, Scorpio. Spirit, show me a message, because there's a lot of interesting cards in here, Scorpio. Spirit, what message do you have for Scorpio in love and romance? What do you need, Scorpio? Ooh. Now, I know y'all two don't want to come out. Priest and enemy, we're not taking these two. The devil is a liar. We don't need no priest. So that's probably you, your energy. And uh, they, we don't need that. Now, don't, don't make me put you up. Let me shuffle. Because I've already pre-shuffled, Scorpio. I'm going to go straight on to tarot. Don't be mean now. Because Scorpio don't want to hear that. It just depends because there's so many different Scorpios that are watching this video. So many different energies to pull from. You got that priest at the bottom. And I ain't going to pull a lot of these. You got hope. So hope is like with the star card, but this isn't the star card. You got hope here. So this is some type of uh, perseverance here. Maybe spirit is telling you to persevere and you have doctor. So some Scorpios have been under the weather here and spirit is telling you to keep your faith because I feel like things are going to get better. And you there go your surprise again. You got look, y'all got some surprises coming. Look, what that other card is. I'm telling you, this is what it say. Happiness, priorities, change of course, and surprise. See, you got two surprise cards. Y'all got look, this person is finding something. Y'all gonna get surprised with some good things here. I feel like. Who somebody got some Scorpios got a, a big old surprise coming your way, and I feel like it's gonna be very, very, very good here. So you have surprise, hope, and doctor here. Spirit, give me another card for Scorpio. And I ain't going to pull a lot because I don't want to. Haughtiness. There go that haughtiness again, Scorpio. This is someone who uh, thought too much of themselves. Someone may need to bring it down a notch. Look, Scorpio, you got money. <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all, some Scorpios are about to get that money. Look, let me show you again now. Look, I ain't look. Money abundance. Surprise. Surprise. Some Scorpios are about to get surprised with a windfall of money. I feel like you are. Uh, but I feel like spirit is also telling you don't get so prideful in what I'm gonna give you with because you remember what this um what this abundance says. It says, being a thoughtful store for the money you already have is the secret to creating more abundance. 
when you trust yourself to handle more, there's that's when more shows up. I feel like, Scorpio, I feel like this is kind of like a warning. When spirit blesses you with this money, don't find yourself being kind of arrogant, popping your collar, uh, uh, burning rubber on folks. Uh, you know how you do, burning ties and shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't be too haughty. Don't be so uh, prideful here. Because just as sure as you get it, it can go away too. But spirit is hoping that spirit can trust you with this abundance that's coming your way. A lot of Scorpios got a surprise abundance coming your way but don't get too haughty in it so this must gonna be something very very big then scorpio spirit is telling you to stay humble it's telling you to stay humble now don't get caught up in it now damn now there goes sorrow who you got hope sorrow doctor money surprise and haughtiness here I'm going to pull one card for each one of these cards. Scorpio. At the bottom, you have melancholy. There go that melancholy again. Melancholy again. That melancholy like you, Scorpio. That's somebody. You remember the last reading, someone was thinking thinking about you and a melancholy. I, you know, don't you remember that word melancholy? I think the first time I really heard that, that word used in a movie was Love Jones. You remember when they were in the uh, the album store? When, uh, you know, he was, Tay Diggs was trying to stun and shit and play Neil Long, a, a old school song and shit. And he wanted to know, you know, shit, I done pulled out the best album. Well, what do you think about it? And um, she says, kind of sad. <laughs> she says, kind of sad, I think. And he said, no, I don't think it's sad. I, may, maybe kind of melancholy, but it ain't sad. See, so. But it's, it's that type of energy that pulls at your heart string here, Scorpio, that melancholy here. So remember the other reading, your person thinks about you in a melancholy kind of way. It pulls at your person's heart string when they think about Scorpio. So Spirit, clarify these cards for Scorpio Spirit. What does this mean for Scorpio? How much time I got? Okay, 17. Okay, I'm going to pull two cards for each card. All right, Spirit, what is this hope about for Scorpio? What does this represent for Scorpio spirit? Clarify hope for Scorpio. Hope is clarified by the ace of swords here. Some type of truth, some type of clarity here. Uh, cutting away things here. So let me get another card. Clarify hope for Scorpio spirit. What is this hope and ace of swords about? Or maybe this person needs hope. And you got, look, you got the ace of swords and the ace of cups. So I feel like someone may be losing hope and they need hope. They need hope because they want another opportunity at love, I feel like. They want to cut out things that no longer serve them because they want another opportunity in love with Scorpio is what I feel. And it could, it could be you that feel this way, Scorpio. So now you have doctor here. What is this doctor about, Spirit, for Scorpio? Clarify doctor. Dr. Scorpio's clarified by the world card here. Now, you remember that other deck, which was the wandering star uh, world represents a, a, a completion, reward, and success. So something is ending. Something has completed here with this doctor here. Clarify. Uh, so someone may, I, I almost feel like, give me another, give me another card for doctor. the emperor here. So this is someone taking control over their life. Someone has completed a major cycle with the doctor. So it's almost as if someone has completed like chemotherapy. Someone was on dialysis is what I feel like, but I feel like they've taken control over their life and they're in a better place with this emperor energy. And it's over. I feel like, I feel like if someone was sick, because they had to uh, receive some type of treatment because of an illness or a disease. I feel like you're going to overcome this. I feel like if you were sick, you were losing your hope. You got this Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. You're going to be fine with this. And we know the Emperor, the Emperor takes charge and is very wise. So you're going to turn out very good uh, if this is you. Now, it could be someone who is attached to you. Someone could have been going to the doctor. Someone could, like I said, someone could have some type of addiction. You can go to the doctor for so many reasons, but like I said, all your rest of your readings, you had someone who was in and out of rehab here. I feel like 
Someone had to recover. Someone had some types of addictions. And it ain't got to be drugs. It could be sex. It could be your mind. It could be all types of things that have you needing to see the doctor. But I feel like that's coming to an end and someone wants to take control over their lives. So now you have sorrow. Spirit, clarify sorrow for Scorpio. Sorrow is clarified by justice here. Who's now someone is finna get some some fairness treated, some uh, clarified sorrow here. Someone may be uh feeling sad because they may have to go to court. Six of swords here, moving towards calmer waters here. So you could be dealing with a Libra or a or a um Aries here. So someone is full of sorrow because I feel like. This justice card represents balance, reciprocity. It also represents um, someone may be someone may be receiving some type of uh, karma here too. This is why they're full of sorrow, but they want to move towards karma waters. I feel like someone who's attached to you, Scorpio. If it's not you, someone got their own shit going on, but in the midst of them going through some shit, they're still trying to come back to Scorpio. So now you have money. Now, I do see a surprise money for you, Scorpio, but don't be haughty. Don't, don't get too arrogant with it. Clarify money for Scorpio spirit. What is this bad for Scorpio? Money is clarified by the queen of pentacles. See? So something is coming in that's going to make you very, very stable and grounded in your finances, Scorpio. One more card. Seven of Cups here. So either you're fantasizing about an ideal life here, or I just feel like you're fantasizing. I feel like you're fantasizing about you being in a more secure financial place, Scorpio. And I feel like it's coming here. This is something you've always fantasized and dreamed about, and it's here. Now you have haughtiness. Clarify haughtiness for Scorpio. Oof. I ain't going to read these cards in a while. Haughtiness, Scorpio, is clarified by the Queen of Cups. <laughs> now, Spirit could be telling someone who is connected to you, don't go to Scorpio acting arrogant and haughty, <laughs> or I'm going to take all that shit back. I feel like someone may have been haughty to you. Someone may have uh, act like they was better than you, Scorpio. Now they're feeling hopeless. I feel like now they need hope and they're full of sorrow. Because they could have talked, they could have taken ill here. They could be recovered from something with this doctor energy if it's not you, Scorpio. Because we just clarified money. So far, this is the best thing. You still have surprise. You get the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Now, the Seven of Cups represents options too. Illusions, fantasy. Now, you could have fantasized about being more stable and financially stable here. So with this haughtiness, you have the Queen of Cups. Clarify haughtiness for Scorpio. What is this haughtiness and Queen of Cups spirit? Ooh, we see. This is somebody else with the Three of Swords. Spirit is telling somebody if they come back to you, check your goddamn self. Don't bring that shit back to Scorpio. Don't bring the bullshit back to Scorpio. So the spirit might be letting you know, Scorpio, you got somebody who is very, very arrogant that's coming in to the Queen of Cups. Uh, either they're already heartbroken or they're coming in to break your heart, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Huh, but it don't matter, Scorpio. You got security here, Scorpio. Now you got this surprise here. What is the surprise about for Scorpio? Clarify surprise. And if you look at this picture, ain't that sixty dollars? No, they say six to six thousand. I think this person, y'all, some, some of you Scorpios might find some money here. Clarify surprise for Scorpio. What is this about, Spirit? Clarify surprise. Six of Pentacles. This is the merchant being generous. Someone is gonna, someone gonna surprise you with some money for your birthday, Scorpio. Clarify surprise. Or some type of bond. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like, and then you got, look, you got the six of pentacles and the five of pentacles. I feel like, ugh, what is going to be a surprise about it, Scorpio? Is this person who coming in to give you some money, you least expect them to come back and give you anything. This person going to come back and give you something, but 
look, <laughs> they can't afford, they look, they ain't got it like that. I'm telling you, but they're going to do it for you. But whatever they give you, they're going to leave somebody else out in the cold. They can't give to everybody because this is the merchant being generous. So in order for this person to come give you, look like this person finna shut down everything else just to make sure Scorpio is all right. Ooh, we Scorpio. And that's all. I'm going to read for these. I don't like these cards like this, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. Oof. I like these cards, but the energy is strong. It's a strong energy, Scorpio. I don't like strong energy, but sometimes I feel like we need to pull it because sometimes that's when the stories really come out is when you go there. So let's pull these tarots real quick for you, Scorpio. Spirit, show me some more messages for Scorpio pertaining to romance and love for Scorpios and their birthday for 2021. Spirit, show me Scorpio, please. What does Scorpio need to be aware of? Who is coming towards Scorpio uh, for Scorpio's birthday uh, in the year 2021, blending right on into 2022? There you go with your knowing as you probably all to yourself ain't saying shit or you in your you using your intuition about everybody to come towards you. Six, there go that six of swords again, moving towards karma waters here. Now, either this is you moving away from things that no longer serve you, listening to your intuition. Someone may be making their own call to come back. Now, someone could be leaving a situation to come to you, Scorpio, where it's peace at. Oof. Give me another card for the Six of Swords, Spirit. What's the Six of Swords about? Six of Swords is clarified by temperance. Somebody is moving towards karma wars because they need balance and healing in their life. And they're trying to come to Scorpio. Ooh, some of you Scorpios are dealing with a Sagittarius here too. Spirit, show me some more messages for Scorpio. Look at there. There go their Aries again. There go their tower. This is something that this could be that surprise that you got coming in, Scorpio. Clarify the tower for Scorpio. The hangman. So I feel like someone is having a change of perception here. So some type of realization this done happened to someone. Now they want to move towards peace and healing here. Oof. Give me more information for Scorpio. Look at that. Five of swords. Now, now the card's getting ugly. So this is someone who uh, uh, is very manipulative. Maybe this is someone. Clarify the five of swords. The Hierophant. So maybe this person is doing some type of spiritual healing, Scorpio, because you got the Five of Swords next to the Hierophant. I don't feel like this is a commitment. I feel like this is spiritual wisdom because I feel like some, your person, whoever this is, and had an awakening here, I feel like. And they're doing some type of healing, but they had to leave toxic situations here. So I feel like this person is connecting with the source in order to have a different perspective on things, Scorpio. Now, this is what's coming towards you. There you go, the high priestess here. You sitting here highly intuitive. You know things. You may not be talking to nobody. You got the world card here. Completion, see? There's a major thing. There's a major change that's taking place in your life, Scorpio, and whoever's attached to you. Spirit, clarify the high priestess for Scorpio. Four swords here. So this is recovering. So some Scorpio's not talking to your past person because you're trying to heal. Clarify the world card for Scorpio. Oof. The Ten of Pentacles. So you remember the world card. Yeah, it's a completion. It's an ending, but it also brings a new beginning here. So either Scorpio, you have completed a major cycle and you're going to get your reward and your success through a long term commitment here. At the bottom, you got the eight of wands here and the queen of wands. Let me clarify these cards real quick, Scorpio. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what I want to put these again. Let's see. What time is it? Okay, I got a good time. Let's see what's going on with this Scorpio. 
Spirit, what's up with this tower and the hangman for Scorpio? What does this mean? All right, Spirit, clarify the tower card for Scorpio and the hangman. Clarify the tower. Tower card, Scorpio, is clarified by the Ten of Swords here. Somebody had an aha moment because they were betrayed or something has happened to them. One more card for the Tower. Ace of Pentacles. So this person got, got I feel like this person missed an opportunity. This person thought that they was going to have an opportunity, but they end up being betrayed here. Now, I feel like this is pertaining to you, Scorpio. I do. Uh, clarify the hangman. Why is the hangman here for Scorpio? Because this is your reading. Clarify the hangman. What is this about? The hangman is clarified by the six of cups. This is someone from your past who's having a change of perception since things have come crumbling down in their life, Scorpio. Clarify the hangman. See, the six of cups and the five of wands here. I feel like this person uh, was trying to figure out some shit. The tower came in. Something came happened in this person's life that they did not see coming. Um, now, I feel like this person is thinking about a lot. You got the hangman, which is thinking. You got the six of cups, which is thinking. Someone is really thinking about all of this competition, about all of this conflict that was around their life, I feel like. This is why your person is feeling disappointed because they're not going to have, they feel like they're not, they may not have another opportunity with you, Scorpio, because of what they have going on in their own life here. So what is up with this Six of Swords here in this Temperance card for Scorpio? Clarify Six of Swords. Six of Swords, Scorpio, is clarified by the devil. Capricorn energy. Someone is moving away from toxic energy, from toxic karmic people and karmic lifestyle here. And I feel like this person didn't have no choice but to move away since the tower came down. Spirit, I feel like this person has been praying for a way out with this five of swords and this hierophant. So they're moving towards karma waters and this six of swords. They're trying to come towards you, uh, but I feel like they're leaving this, this devil energy. Uh, Spirit had to bring it down because I feel like this person would not have left if, if the tower didn't come down. Clarify the six of swords and this devil. The Hierophant. Now, this was a commitment here. This one, now this one right here is a commitment. Now, that could be a commitment too. This person is leaving a toxic karmic commitment, Scorpio. Woo, Scorpio. But they didn't want to leave on their own, Scorpio. Spirit had to step in and bring that shit down, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Ooh, now don't get mad because this ex showing up. You see me pulling the cards and this ain't got nothing to do with me. Now clarify temperance for Scorpio. Temperance is clarified, Scorpio, by the king of pentacles. I feel like this person has been overworking themselves because they're so busy chasing the almighty dollar and the imp and the image to listen where they ass is out. It's become addictive to them. It's driving them with that devil. And this person could have been bound to someone who wanted the money here. See, with this devil and this hierophant energy, and then you got the king of pentacles, this person is leaving a committed relationship because it was toxic. And your person, look, we know a lot of these exes was after the money and the image. This person chased after that. They got it. Now they're trying to get away from it. Clarify temperance. See? The ace of wands here. Now this could have been this person. This, this is what this person did instead of choosing you. They went and they uh, started another relationship with someone else that wore their asses out with this king of pentacles and this ace of wands. And it ended up being a toxic karmic relationship, Scorpio. See, this is why they're missing this opportunity. Because, see, they showing up as the king of pentacles, but they missed this ace of pentacles. They, they end up getting the ten of swords instead of this ace of pentacles. So I feel like they missed it because of this tower card. Because spirit is trying to do some work in this person, Scorpio. Clarify the five of swords and the hierophant.
Five of Swords is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. They showing up as the King of Pentacles. This is who they was involved with. They was about the money. This person went and found someone who was after that image and that ego. Just, that's why spirit is cautioning. I feel like that haughtiness is telling your person, don't show up the Scorpio with that bullshit thinking you all that when you're not. So this person, whoever they were with, they thought that, look, this is why the Ten of Pentacles is here. They thought that they was finna blow up with this person, but the person ended up being a karmic. <laughs> Clarify the Five of Swords for Scorpio. Look, Ten of Swords, Eight of Swords. They got stuck with this karmic, Scorpio, trying to play these mind games and manipulate and shit. Now, whatever they did to you in this Five of Swords, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles, along with this Eight of Swords, got your head, your person stuck with they ass because they was manipulating your person with this within this committed relationship. Clarify the Hierophant for Scorpio. Oof. Well, no. Hierophant, four of pentacles. So somebody was holding back from this relationship here. Clarify the Hierophant. Somebody may have been holding back their money back. Look, there go that six of swords again. Your person, your person wanted, your person was chasing the almighty dollar and they ended up hooking up with a karmic. And in order for them to heal and learn, spirit made they ass, they stuck with their karmic. Now they're trying to get away. You got two six of swords here. They trying to leave some type of toxic ass commitment that they were in. Now, let me see what this ten of, ten of pentacles is about. Clarify ten of pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. So this is someone who wants to work on a relationship or someone who is focused. Maybe this person's attention and focus was just on money. This is why they, they got hooked up with this karmic lifestyle because their attentions was all about money. It wasn't love and, and character. It was just money. Clarify Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles here. So I feel like this person was focused on this nine of pentacles. I wonder who is this nine of pentacles. Someone is, now this could be you. I think this is this person. Clarify this ten of pentacles. Why is this nine of pentacles here, spirit? Oh, the queen of wands. Now, they're looking at you like you are the queen of wands, Scorpio. Because remember, they with this money hungry person, which is the queen of pentacles, which is a karmic they looking at you independent in your nine of pentacles with your sexy ass. And they realize that your focus is not on them. Your focus is on building uh, your enterprise, Scorpio. Your focus is on long-term commitments here. This is you, Scorpio. This, this is who the folk, this person is realizing that your focus ain't on them. Their focus is on you, though. Because you single in abundance, Scorpio. And you you very confident. You, you ain't got no issues. It's your person got issues. Who, Scorpio, you got the world card. Give me one card for the world card. Why is this here? Five of Pentacles. Somebody got left out in the cold, Scorpio. I'm telling you, somebody got left out in the cold. And I feel like, because see, if you look on in both of these uh, Six of Swords, you see a, a, two people leave and somebody's left out in the cold. I feel like this person left a, a, a baby mama and I don't see the empress, but I feel like this person left a whole family out in the cold, Scorpio, because it was too... All right, give me one more card for the world because it was too toxic. Oh, shit. The, that's the queen of cups, Scorpio. They left you out in the cold or, or, or that's you, Scorpio. That's you. You completed a cycle. You remember world card happens to do with completion, reward, and success. You have left someone out in the cold and you're focused on Scorpio. That's where your focus is. You left out irrelevant things, Scorpio, and you're focused on you. See, this is why this eight of pentacles is here. You focus on your stability and long-term commitment here. You're, you're independent. You're getting it on your own. Your focus ain't on no X. They, they energy is on you. But they got, <laughs> they got a whole karmic series going on over here, Scorpio. What's up with this four swords? Remember some, we saw doctor. Uh, uh, so let, what's this four swords back about? 
Four of Swords is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like someone is receiving some type of karma, Scorpio, because of their lifestyle here. Clarify the Four of Swords. See, Ten of Cups here. So I feel like this person, this Wheel of Fortune, now this could be destiny. The Wheel of Fortune is destiny. Now, it could be that this the spirit is telling you, for some of you, Scorpio, this relationship is destined. Because after you took a break and heal, or after your person do some type of healing, then it's, it's going to be time for them to come back for this connection with you, which is this Ten of Cups, Scorpio. And I know you don't want to hear it, but I got to tell you what I see. Give me one more card for the Four of Swords. They just left a connect, connection, Scorpio, that was karmic and toxic, and it was about the money. Now they're coming towards you to build something, or they want to, Scorpio, but you're, to, look, the Four of Swords again. The Four of Swords again. You got the Four of Swords and the Four of Swords. So this is recovery. This is recharging. This is healing. I feel like this person wants to come back. I feel like if this is not you, this is your person that's trying to heal because you got the six of swords next to the temperance. This person is trying to move towards karma waters towards their healing here. So you got the four swords here, some type of healing and recovering uh, because it's time. And it, this is, it's like, this is a, whatever your person is going through where the karmic lifestyle is faded. This is what they're supposed to go through in order for them to learn. And this is what they put out there. So therefore this is what they're going to get back. So with this will of fortune, you get the 10 of cups. So you guys' relationship was supposed to be, but it's not quite time yet, Scorpio, because when we clarify the Ten of Cups, we get the Four of Swords again. This person needs to continue to heal before they're even ready to come to you. They're, they're leaving karmic situations, but they still need to heal for themselves because a lot of these uh, exes, until they do some healing individually, they're going to keep on doing the same shit. Now, this High Priestess, clarify the High Priestess. The high priestess is clarified by the knight of wands. Now, I feel like someone wants to rush into you passionately because you ain't saying nothing to them, Scorpio. You know, you already know about them. They want to come to you and they ain't even doing so good. So they, they, they can't wait to come to you because look, look how you sit. You're sitting as the queen of wands. So you sit at the queen of wands getting your nine of pentacles and your focus is on building your, your wealth. So you're turning this person on with this Knight of Wands, Scorpio, but it's the same shit they've been doing. You remember they went and start, look, this King of Pentacles went and started another relationship. If they wasn't a King of Pentacles, they was about the money. They went ahead a new passion beginning somewhere else. And where they went was with the devil and the Hierophant. They went to a karmic relationship. And it was about, uh, based on money, which was a, a, a earth sign, a Queen of Pentacles here. So the tower came down. So whatever money they had invested, it came down with it. Look, this Ace of Pentacles is right next to the Ten of Swords. They didn't get this new opportunity, what they thought they was going to get with this karma. Because Spirit said, no, nah, enough is enough. So clarify the High Priestess in this Knight of Wands. Uh -oh. So you have the Two of Wands, Scorpio. That's the Two of Wands, and I can't get it. The two of wands is expansion, it's decisions here. So this is this, this is you. You got decisions to make, Scorpio. Or this I, I don't feel like this person has it like that to be coming in here as a knight of wands. I feel like this person may be trying to come in to you because now they feel like you're the one for them. Who clarify the high priestess? Ooh, Scorpio, your person gotta look. The hangman, see? <laughs> This person may can't make up their minds. Oh, they're going to hang man again. Maybe this person's had a change of perspective about you, Scorpio. Especially since you're not, look, you're not talking to this person, Scorpio. Your focus is no longer to this person. Your focus is on things for you with this eight of pentacles and this ten of pentacles, as well as this world card and this queen of cups. You're leaving this person out in the cold and you're focusing on yourself, Scorpio. This is why this, look, there go that tower again. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, ooh. I tell you, Scorpio, your people be getting on my nerves. Show me some more energy for Scorpio. There go that Ten of Cups. Somebody want a relationship with you, Scorpio. They do. 
And I feel like it's coming. Look, there go the Empress again. Now, this could be some Scorpios who are with child. Some Scorpios, this is your child's dad or your baby mama, Scorpio. Uh, but maybe this person feels like you're their Empress here or this person. Uh, give me another card for Scorpio. Eight of Cups, you walking away from something. What is Scorpio walking away from, Spirit? Clarify the Eight of Cups. Oh, you walking away from anything that's too much for you. You said, I ain't do that shit, so I ain't carrying your load. You walking away from other people's shit, Scorpio. This Empress, clarify the Empress. Page of Cups. So this person wants to come in and apologize to you or this person that had a, a, had a baby. Clarify the Empress. There is some type of ending here. See, I feel like this person, whoever they were with, they had another baby and that shit is over. That's why you can see the Six of Swords twice. They're ending something because whoever their baby mama was, was a karmic, very money hungry, just like them. Clarify this Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is clarified by the lovers. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Somebody want that in-house love, Scorpio. That's why they coming as the Knight of Wands. They done changed their mind about you, Scorpio. You really wasn't so bad after all. After Spirit whooped their ass with this karmic relationship, they realized that you really wasn't as bad as they thought you was, Scorpio. <laughs> this is a soulmate, Scorpio, with this lover's card. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. <laughs> Ooh, Scorpio, the two of wands again, this expansion, there is growth, there is decisions. I feel like this is for you. You gonna have to decide if you want this person back or not. They go to ace of wands because they coming, they want your ass. Now this person could be coming in because remember two of wands fell on the floor. This person could be choosing you to have this new beginning with because this is who they chose in the past, Scorpio. In this king of pentacles chasing the money they chose in the past, they, they chose someone else to have a new beginning with. But who they chose, Scorpio, was the devil with the hierophant. So now they in the six of swords trying to get the hell away. Now they trying to come to Scorpio, which is, <laughs> they're, they want this committed relationship with you, Scorpio. They want that in-house. They want love. You look, you got the lovers and the ten of wands. They want you, Scorpio. That's all they do. They, they think about every part of you. Of course, they want you, Scorpio. Like I said, you're showing up as the queen of wands along with the nine of pentacles. You that shit, Scorpio. And not only that, to add insult to injury, you ain't even focused on them with this high priestess. You ain't saying shit. Your attention is no longer focused on them. X, your attention is focused on your security and what makes you happy. You got the Ten of Cups here twice, Scorpio. So this person does want a relationship with you now, Scorpio. Now that spirit done beat their ass. Look, look, look. The emperor, now this emperor had a karmic uh, divine, but you're the real divine, Scorpio. Because you remember, now see, when this other emperor, when this emperor showed up, it's a baby mama. But when you show up as the emperor, Scorpio, you're the divine. Could be dealing with the Aries. They go, that will of fortune again. Something is a faded event. Some of you Scorpios are supposed to be with an ex once they get their shit together and once they drop all these other burdens, Scorpio. I, I know you don't want to hear it, and I'm to the point where I don't care. My job is just to bring the message. You feel it, you receive it or not. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Some Scorpios is dealing with the Virgo. This person is trying to find the right answers on how they can come to you, Scorpio. If you haven't blocked their ass, they probably can't get to you. Now, now they waiting on you. <laughs> I feel like they waiting on you, but you done turned your back on them. Now, Scorpio, your attention is not on them. It's on yourself. One more card for Scorpio. See, they got anxiety and worry going on in their life because the one that they re realized that there was the one for them they did not treat right. They judged you. They misjudged you. They mishandled you because they was... They went in somebody else's yard because they thought the grass was greener on the other side. They was given to another situation, uh, but they beat up now. 
They beat up from all of the many secrets and lies that they hear from you, Scorpio. Now they're trying to bring their beat up slow ass in here and offer you something. Now their focus is back on you, Scorpio. It's really on you now because all they do is watch your ass with this page of swords. Now they stuck on you, Scorpio, but their money may not be right, Scorpio, because they just got out of something. Meanwhile, Scorpio, you're sitting here beautiful, independent, and abundant. And your person, all they do is sit around here and think about you because when they think about you, they see victory and success uh, and they see you in your power here. And some of your exes feel like you have moved on, Scorpio, towards another beautiful beginning somewhere else, Scorpio. And that's for real, Scorpio. And that's what it is, Scorpio. <sighs> all right, Scorpio, this is your reading. If this video resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment. Scorpio, happy, happy birthday. I love each and every one of you. And I will talk to you on the next video. Bye, Scorpios.